I felt like something was happening, um, something real and something good and something healing and true. And uh, we, we started doing some meditations, we were, we were like writing songs, we were making, we were doing art projects and something within myself started like piecing itself back, back together and I felt myself emerging as, as maybe an artist or, or, you know, even more expressive with myself, being more true to myself. Ishmael Alam took all these people in his house and he circumcised them in that same day. That was a lot of people that he circumcised. So we have a big question. There's two opinions. Who, what, who, who did he circumcise first? Himself or all the other people? We excel, what we believe we excel in, Torah for the mind, body, and soul. For, so that's why we call our Midrashah holistic Torah for women on the land. That we want to bring something to make, integrate the Torah into all the different modalities and all the different aspects of a woman's life so that it could be all unified and holistic. A beautiful part of being in this school <laughs> is that we are like mamish, like in the land, like um, I love being in Israel and, and this place gives us like a real look at, at what I feel like a real nurturing and warm and supportive environment to learn Torah and also to be connected to the land. Um, to eat the fruits of the land, to eat the vegetables of the land, to, to you know, incorporate it into our lunches. The people here actually are there to support each other because this is like pretty much all we have, you know, like people are coming from different areas of the world, they don't have family here, they don't have friends here, and because it's such a, an intimate space, um, we're definitely there for each other. We hang out at night, we watch movies, we make baked goodies and mm -hmm. eat a lot of them. Students could put on a little small play, playing out what they just learned. And in that way, it, they would be etched into their memory, the stories, and also they put their own personal touch to it and they create something that's enjoyable and exciting and uh, educational for other people. Yeah, it's kind of like my journey, you know, I had to leave my home, my birthplace and my family and everything. And like, you know, you're going through the trials of, and like Beirut helps you with that. It's like a safe space to like grow and everything. And then like, I don't know, people just kind of are like, oh, okay, I want to stay here now.